My name is Nikki Logan Curran. I am the Events and Community Outreach Director for Chef Paul Madison Restaurant Group. I'm also the co-owner with my husband David for Hitched and Honey. Uh, we are a sustainable event organization. We do farm pork dinners and all sorts of events, bringing awareness to local organizations that we find near and dear to our heart. Um, our first speaker this afternoon is going to be Mayor Shaw. Um, for those of you that don't know, he and his family have been in Sarasota for 110 years, so I think they define local. <laughs> um, Mayor Shaw has been a longtime connection to the city. He represents District 1 of the Sarasota City Commission. He also serves as the minister at Mount Tabor Missionary Baptist Church, providing bereavement counseling. He's also a U.S. Air, Air, excuse me, Air Force Vietnam veteran, 28 years in the U.S. Postal Service, and has his experience laid in the foundation of strong stances on social justice and smart growth practices. Probably the thing I found most uh, astonishing about Mayor Shaw is the fact that he has nine children, 17 grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. So please join me in welcoming Mayor Shaw. Good afternoon, and thank you so very much for such a very warm, identifying uh, introduction. <clears throat> I started doing this early this morning before most of you got up. About 2.14 this morning, I got up and I started thinking on this and doing some meditating work in the uh, book that I read. I found that uh, each generation is responsible for the next generation. That, that resonated greatly with me simply because if you and I don't look beyond the place we are today, then we'll forever be held accountable and responsible for not doing what we were supposed to do when we were set upon this beautiful blue mark. Now, if that kind of makes you think and wonder, then I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy to take a few precious moments of your time to just talk to you. And I had several talking points here. First, as I looked out, I'm well understanding that this is a group very, very much diverse. As I look out, I see it filled with leaders from everything from food, climate change, urban planning, and social justice. I do want to thank you for the work that you do. Because without you, the city of Sarasota, the county of Sarasota, and the region in which we live would not be what it is today and what we would hope to leave for our tomorrow. Now, you don't have to say amen, you don't have to, but if every once in a while you just nod your head, it'll kind of sort of make me feel like I have five more minutes. If you don't do it, then I'll go on and on. No, no, no. Let's understand. Again, I do want to thank you. What does it mean to be a sustainable community? To me, a sustainable community is financially environmentally and socially healthy. A sustainable community thinks long term. How many of you from Sarasota? Okie dokie, fine. How many of you find yourselves engaged in conversations with other people who say, I came to paradise. I am a piece of paradise. <coughs> Well, that's all well and true. But there are certain reasons that this is paradise. We have long thought out our future. We have long sat down and said that we don't want this to be where you came from. Oh, it'll come to you about 4 o'clock on next Tuesday. You'll get that one. But, <coughs> Thinking far out, thinking beyond your presence, you know. I, I quite frequently hear people tell me how long they have been in Sarasota. Now that I'm John Thaxton, 
back there in the back, I don't think there are very many of us here who are beyond 100 years. But they quickly come and tell me what changes need to be made here and how we need to go about doing it. The question constantly comes before me. Mayor, do you think Sarasota is a sustainable community? Yes and no. Simply because this is a journey, and the journey begins with the first step. Are we going to think about the environment? Are we going to look out and look at this, this, this one here, social healthy, socially healthy? They told me I had to put a statement here on my sticker. And, of course, I said to the person sitting at the table next to me, this room will really get them. Mine is R-E-A-L, real. Race, equity, and leadership. Our environment, true enough, we must, we must address. Our finances, Sarasota is well on its way to being financially survivable. Not just this year, next year, but 25, 30, 40, 50 years from now. But these other conversations, socially healthy. As I look out, I see myself and my vice mayor and one other, two others. But how do we really get to where we really want to go and be truly sustainable if we can't talk to each other, if we can't communicate? How does the environment affect me on a hot day? What, what contribution am I going to make to this city financially? How, how, how and what role am I going to play? Mary, you've been here over 110 years. <laughs> yes, and I've seen many changes, most for the better. But then there are a lot of places we haven't even touched on yet. The one million plus skull that we placed in Sarasota Bay. Hmm, cleaning out uh, the bay under Soprito, Tony Soprito's uh, park and, 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 and uh, Dr. Worland's, Elizabeth Worland's park, pulling out telephones and rubbish that has been there. But then, did you not know that the bridge wasn't always there, that you had to go to Golden Gate Port to even get to Coon Key? No, no, you didn't know that. It was here when you got here. But how do, we, how do we really sustain ourselves going into the future beyond what you have wanted to talk about today? Did I mess up your day so far? I would hope so. <laughs> I, I want you to know that I have a great passion for where I live. And it stretches beyond Sarasota into the region. We need better communication to do what we want to do. Because I'm not going anywhere, it's evident. I've been here 110 years, if you think you're going to go. Uh, never mind, let's go down to the next one. We know that sea level is rising. Our rain patterns are changing, and our air is getting much hotter. We're trying to understand how we can be a resilient city given these changes through persons like Stevie Freeman, Freeman Montes and others, 2016 is a good year for Sarasota's environmental quality. As I mentioned earlier, the one million scouts in our bay by Sarasota Baywatch volunteers. And then we even had a seagrass uh, movement here for the first time to see that we were nourishing our bay with seagrass once again. Something that most people would walk out on and not even think of. 
because most people just come and look at our bay and cross it and go to say almonds or come back from their view and look over and see. But there's more to it than just that. We've done good, but there's more work to be done. I only have one minute left, and so as I close this, let me say thank you for allowing me this opportunity to stand and speak to you this afternoon. I would hope in some way it resonates with you on your way back home this afternoon, tomorrow, or next week. And if I've said something that really, really, really burned your butt, then please feel free to give me a call. Thank you so very, very much.